very good. So old dealer, it's the first story in our book. Our book is called our book is called Reading Street, and I don't like anyone to talk without permission. I think you know my rules. Mute. Okay, let's return back. So guys, let's start. Uh, comprehension skills. First of all, I'm going to send you later a complete PBT for all the comprehension skills. We have settings. What are the settings? Settings, it, it uh, refers to two tools, the time and the place. The time and the story is a very important tool. When the author is going to write, he's going to write in the future, in the past, in a very, very old past, or he's going to talk about now, or even he's going to talk about uh, a fictional time, you know. Uh, the place, also the place is a very important tool to write in English, or even to write a story, or to write any literary work. So, what shall we do? So. Uh, we call the time and the place of the story or, or, or any literary work the setting, okay? Uh, so, setting means, or settings means, the time and the place which story happens. Comprehension strategy, visualization, or visualize. You know, boys, can you hear me? I hope you can hear me. Just, uh, yeah, just okay. give me indication yeah, that you hear me. Yeah, yeah, excellent, hear you. excellent. Excellent, guys. Enough. Mute yourself. You know, you know, guys. Uh, the, I, I, the best, the best class for me is grade five last year and grade six today. Uh, uh, this year, I do like you, all of you. Really, how are you? You, uh, Yasin, welcome back. How are you doing, my man? Yes. Marwan, what? Saud, where are you? Speak up, sir. I, I can barely, uh, I can barely hear you. Okay, let's continue, guys. So, visualization. What is the meaning of visualization, uh, uh, Saud? Visualize is to imagine, to make picture in your mind. Sometimes I use words that creates picture in your mind. For example, I saw a giant creature. Then you are going to draw an Im image for it by your. But by, by your uh, by your mind, I saw a giant creature, and I use my stealthy uh, my stealthy what my stealthy act to throw it to him. Then I cut down his uh, neck. Then uh, you know this kind of uh, narration gives you what gives you some pictures. What is this creation? The creation this creation it looks like a great ball. This. This ball has a long horns, and its horns touches the sky. You know, those kind of words helps you to to make a picture in your mind when you are saying or narrating a story. Those kind of words helps you to imagine and to know. Okay, so let's start with the vocabulary. The first word, longin, move forward suddenly. What is the meaning of Longin. Longin, move forward, forward so Let me uh, make it easier for you. Longe, L U N G E. This is a verb. You know, when you find a snake right now under your table or under your chair, what are you going to do? You are going to longe. You are going to move away suddenly with no intention, with no any place to go, just to keep yourself safe. Got it? Longe, look at here. Look at the picture. Look at those lamps or do or those cheap. You know, they are longing. Why? Because the dog is parking and the, the dog here tries to attack them. So they launch. They are running suddenly with no place to go just to keep themselves safe. So you got it. For example, if you are sitting in the same table with your, your friend and your friend is trying to scratch you to uh, what can I say to make you laugh. So you are going to launch once he touches you. He you are are going to launch suddenly with no more what, what can i say with no more uh intention or no place to go or you know you are just moved you are doing a, a sudden movement so good at launching guys yes Khad, come here yes 
Speak up. Speak up, Khad. What? what? Nothing is what? What is the meaning of yeah. launch or launching? Why, why your voice is the same like this? You started to be uh, rougher than my voice. Go on, tell me the meaning of launching. Go on, man. Khad, hurry up. What is the meaning of launching now? Yasin, go on. Moving, Speak up. Uh, moving forward. Forward, Excellent. Move to move forward suddenly. Excellent. Okay. So, Hikabi, tell me uh, the meaning of uh, uh, of launching. Moving forward. Forward. Where is Sub Hikabi? Here. You are down. Why you are down? Oh, hello. Okay. Hi. So you are going to move forward suddenly with no intention. So Marwan, can who can tell me a story that he has seen a curator or someone that he was lounging? Who can tell me a one? Who? Just raise your hand, guys. I want to see you. Who won't? Oh my God, sleepy guys. Muhammad, Mahmoud, go on. Yes. What was yeah, the word meaning? Me. I forgot. What was the word uh, name? Lounging, man. Lounging means running. Lounging. Yes. No, not running, not running. To move forward suddenly with no intention or, or there, uh, there is no place to go. Just to move, to keep himself away, away of uh, danger. Yeah. Got it? Like when a car is going to come pump to you, you run suddenly without you know where you are going. Yes, excellent. Okay, nice. So let's move move to the other word. Sorry, this is not yours. Okay. Rowdy, yeah, oh my god, great sex is full of rowdy students. Where is Nasser? Where is Nasser? I missed him, this boy, this rowdy boy. Where is him? Is he here? Anyways, rough and disorder, a disorderly person who is rowdy, rowdy behavior at school. Someone who is rowdy, it means that he is rough, he is not as good as you think okay this is the rowdy boys clear clear boys oh my god what are clear. you clear. okay chris so clear mean? okay so rough or disorderly person who is called rowdy okay so we can say that one of the students is rowdy it means that he is rough and he, he is not dealing well with his teachers and his and his colleagues so let's move to the word, the next word. Okay, slang. Slang. Okay, slang. It's an adjective here. But once I say uh, a verb, okay, it's a slang. Okay, it's a kind of to hang something or to throw something. Okay, a slang like this. Look at here. Look at this uh, girlish uh, bag. Can you see the girlish bag here? Yes, Why? we can. Yes. Yeah. Look at this. Look at this robe. This robe is called a slung that you put it in her shoulder to uh, to to hang it, and look at this. This is for the mountain seekers or the mountain climbers who are hiking on the mountain. So they are slung it or uh, they are slung because to not fall down. So it has another meaning to throw or cast or hurl to fling. Oh, guys. Hello. Yes. No, boys. Yes. 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 OK. Yes. So now, uh, who can tell me the meaning of slang? To, to place in the secure with slang or to raise lower or down? And is, it means to throw something. For example, I, 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 slung my, I slung my bag. It means I threw it in my drawer. So I threw it or I, I, uh, I hurl it. 
Is it is it clear, boys? Is it clear? Yes, it is. Yes. Yes. Let's, let's move on. Speckle. Speckle. You know. You know. Dimensional. Uh, no, not dimensional. I'm sorry. Uh, you know that uh, we have some dogs that have some speckles, some marks, or some dots, or some uh, spots on it. This is. Look at this bird. It has here. Let me. Let me make it bigger. Look. Here, in its forward neck, here it has some dots here, black spots on its skin. This is the mean of a speckled. I have a speckled dog, it means that I has a dog, it has small spots on it, black spots or green spots, whatever it is. Okay, so speckled means it's a small speck, means spots, speck means spots, marked skin. So a speckled person that he has dots or spots on his face a speckled coloring or marking so to mark with or with speckles here speckles means small spots like this this is a speckled bird so it's an adjective nice okay okay rhombing to run or go rapidly without effort you know in the playground or your break on the races i hope to return back to school because I think you hate being at home. Am I right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah I think most of us hate being at home. Yes. Yeah, we have to return back to the regular, to the regular, to the regular life. The home made me crazy. Yeah, all of us. Me too. Yeah, who's doing something? I don't know. What are you doing, boys? Who is doing? something did you mute me okay stop playing yes we can mister okay let's continue guys so robin means to go without any place to go you know go run rapidly okay without effort as in a race you are running okay and you can't feel that you are doing uh, an effort or it, it has another word meaning like to win easily the person who runs a quick and or efforts uh, effortless pack the worker or the work was easy and he went through it in a romp a romp it means easily or or uh, uh, or um, without effort and the racist racist means uh the break it's another word for the break the break of uh, that we have after the period two the break that you are playing so most of the students are roaming are roaming it means they are running without uh, a place to go, just running here haphazardly. This is the word rhombing. Okay, let's move. An up. An up, a small piece of something. An up, like look at here. Marwan, are you here? Marwan. Marwan. I'm here. Hi. Yes. yes, I think you are a sleepy boy today. Anyways, let me continue. Uh, a lamp or a small piece, a knob is a coal, coal or a knob of pencil. You know, it's a small piece of something, you know, especially with pencils. I, oh, look at this knob. How can you write using it? You know, uh, I use this knob only to erase because the eraser at the back of it, it's very uh, uh, effective. Oh my God, what is this? Okay, so uh, let me let me continue. Uh, where were you? So, uh, who can tell me the meaning of the knob? Just raise your hand. The meaning of the knob, Basil, go on. Uh, a small a lamp or a small piece. Yes, an ab it's a small piece, or, or uh, an ab it means a small piece of pencil. Mm, excellent. Okay, let's move down. Okay, guys, those words are very important today. We are going to make differentiation between verbs ends with ing and verbs ends with ed. In their pronoun 
pronunciation. How can we spell it? Answering. By the way, ing is not pronounced as answering. No, it's wrong. You are not going to produce a ja sound at the end. Answering. No, no. Answering. Traveled. Traveled. Traveling. Chopped. Chopping. You know, chopped. To cut something to uh, small pieces. Qualified. Qualifying. Pa panicked. Panicked means he's afraid of something or he is panicked. Uh, panic him. Interfered. Interfering. Omit or omitted. Om omitting. Magnifying. Magnified. Patrol. Patrol to do uh, some laps or to, uh, wo uh, to walk at night. Patrolling. It's another verb. Skied and skiing. You know, ski to ski on the on the on the, on the ice. Mimicked to do the similar. Mimicking to do the similar also. Dignified, dignifying to be to feel proud. Staggered, staggering. So guys, what are, what should you do? First of all, you have to know the meanings of them. Use your dictionary. This is the first one. And then you can start to know their meanings and their definitions. And after that, you are going to answer the exercise here. Look at here. Adding ED or ING. For example, let's read the first one. Who can read the first question here? Uh, let me let me make it bigger a little bit. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Yes. Now, can you see vivid clear? Is it clear now? Yes. Yeah, a little bit. Boy. Yes, yes, it did. Yes. Okay, number one, let me read number one. When I heard the warming, uh, you can open this page. I don't remember what page is it. You can open it and read it. Do you have the page, the reading and notebook page? I think this is 41. Page 41. Can you open it? Boys. Oh my God, boys! Bad boys. I'm opening it. I'm opening. I'm opening. Okay, you can read number one. I opened it. Who can read number one? Me, me, me. Okay, go on. Okay, read, read, best, read, read, best. Mm. Words in context, in context, write the, the last the word, the complete. Number one, Basil, go on directly to number one. When I hear the uh, when I hear the warning about about the tornado, I I almost panicked. Yeah, yes. that's what I said. Nice. Number two. Number two. Uh, Mahmoud, the new student. Mahmoud, go on. Then Charlie, Charlie spends the whole day shopping wood. Chopping wood means to cut it down. Okay, thank yeah. you. So, Hikabi, go on number three, man. I answered the phone as soon as, as it starts ringing. Yeah, excellent. Okay, uh, number four, uh, Yasin, Ellen. Yasin. Yes, seen. Yes, and seen is not here. Marwan, read number four. How do you?
God hopes, hopes she will be dash for the for the state files. Okay. Qualifying. Okay. Uh, let's move down to number 13. Let's move down to number 13. Uh, upsetting, distressing, panicking. You know, upsetting feeling, feeling it ends with ING, feeling with uh, afraid of or to be afraid of, distressing to be in a stress. So uh, uh, it means panicking. And here's also responding, replying, it means answering to reply it means to answer competent or or prepared it means qualified enhanced enlarged it means to magnify okay disturbing uh, disrupted i'm sorry and disturbed it, it means to interfere interfere means to disturb someone Skated or slide skied. And inspecting means to battle or to battling. Left out or skipped means a method. Omitted, a method, a met. Comes from a met. Anyways, I think, guys, uh, this is the last part of our session. I hope it's, it was clear. Uh, tomorrow, inshallah, we are going to study. Uh, let me see. To, tomorrow, we are going to study do, 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 the synonyms. Okay. We are going to study the synonyms. And uh, inshallah, we are going to study the synonyms and type of sentences. So uh, we have to finish them all. Is it clear? Master, there is someone keep kicking us and muting us. I got kicked five times. That's a lot. Who, who muted me? Someone sorry. muted me? No. Who was that? He was hacking. Anyways, uh, first rule, you have to be muted forever. And second rule, don't open your camera. I think uh, the students know that I don't like cameras. And even you can't see me. Uh, so, uh, I think that's enough for today. See you later, guys. Okay? Bye. Go to the other class. Bye. 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 Mr.